Welcome to third grade, module two, the importance of being trustworthy. People that are trustworthy are known for keeping promises and for being honest. Trustworthy people usually get along well with others and are respected. Who is someone in your life that you would consider to be trustworthy? What makes that person trustworthy to you? Digital citizens must take trustworthiness very seriously. Being trustworthy allows you to enjoy technology in a safe and appropriate manner because the adults in your life know that you will keep the promises you make. Our friend Digi really wanted a tablet. It seemed like everyone else had one at school. His parents kept telling him that as he grew older and became more responsible, they would start to feel more comfortable with the idea. After many years of proving that he was trustworthy, his parents bought him a tablet for Christmas. The day that they gave him his tablet, they sat him down and went over the expectations of being trustworthy as he used his new device. They discussed four ways to be a trustworthy user of technology. Stick to a plan. Keep promises. Practice self-control. And tell the truth. Digi's parents asked him to sign a contract to show that he understood the rules of using his new device. A technology contract, or agreement between parents and children, outlines the rules and expectations for using technology. One of the expectations on his plan was that he would only use his tablet after he completed his homework, and on the weekends with permission from his parents. Another expectation was that he would not take his tablet to school. Many schools have specific rules in place for using personal devices, and Digi's parents wanted to make sure he was not violating those rules. Another expectation stated on Digi's contract was that he would park his device when he was doing homework, eating dinner with his family, or when his family felt it was necessary. Parking spots for devices are becoming very popular in many families. This is a spot in the house where everyone will store their device, so they can enjoy each other's company and other hobbies free from distraction. Another time that Digi's family expected him to park his device was at bedtime. They knew that children who used electronic devices at bedtime often had poor sleep habits. Digi was doing an excellent job of sticking to the plan. He parked his device each afternoon as he did his homework. He never brought his tablet to the dinner table. Digi knew how important a good night's sleep was to his health so he left his tablet in the parking spot at bedtime. There was, however, one part of the contract that was causing Digi to have a hard time sticking to the plan, and that was the expectation that he would not take his device to school. Digi really wanted to show his friends his new tablet. He also wanted to share some videos he had recorded of his dog doing funny tricks. He thought that maybe if he snuck his tablet out to recess, he could show his friends the videos then quickly put his tablet away when he got back into the classroom. He decided not to stick to the plan, just this one time. By not sticking to the plan, Digi was breaking a promise that he had made to his family. How do you feel when someone breaks a promise that they made to you? It isn't a very good feeling. Digi figured his parents would never find out and promised himself that after this one time he would never do it again. Unfortunately for Digi, another student saw a group huddled around his tablet and reported it to a teacher that was on duty. The teacher approached Digi and asked him to hand over the tablet. Not only had he broken the promise that he made to his parents, but he also broke a school rule. The tablet was taken to the office and his parents were called. They had to come pick up the tablet in person. How do you think Digi was feeling as this happened? Practicing self-control means that you think about your actions and the possible consequences before acting. Digi did not use self-control when he brought his tablet to the playground. If Digi would have stopped and thought about what could go wrong, he probably would have made a better choice. He ended up having his tablet taken away for one month. Although this upset him, he was more upset over the fact that he was no longer trustworthy in his parents' eyes. The good news is that with time and self-control, Digi was able to prove that he was trustworthy once again. When is a time that you had to practice self-control in order to help you keep a promise? Another way that digital citizens show that they are trustworthy is by telling the truth. 
Digi remembers a time when his class was typing stories on the computer. One of Digi's friends showed him how to open another tab and play a game instead of typing. When the teacher walked by, his friend quickly switched back to typing his story. Digi didn't think this was a very trustworthy thing to do. The teacher was able to monitor the students as they typed from her computer screen. She noticed that Digi's friend was not making progress on his story. She walked over to him and asked him what was going on. Digi's friend was truthful and admitted to what he had been doing. However, as a consequence for not using the computer appropriately, he was denied use of computers for a week at school. His teacher was disappointed, but told Digi's friend that being truthful helped him to avoid further consequences. Trustworthy people are able to admit when they made a mistake. They're also able to learn from their mistakes to make better choices in the future. Sometimes it may be tempting to hide the truth to avoid consequences. When it comes to using technology, there are lots of ways for adults and teachers to track usage and to uncover the truth. Digital citizens always tell the truth up front, even when they make a mistake. Adults may be disappointed in you, but when you don't tell the truth, you make things worse by breaking trust. Rules for technology usage are put in place for your safety and protection. Digital citizens show their teachers, families, and others that they can be trusted to tell the truth, even when it might seem hard. When you are a trustworthy digital citizen, people view you as a leader. This is because they know that you will be honest and truthful in all situations. When you show that you are trustworthy, you will see that you will be given more opportunities to use technology because adults know that you will make good choices. Digi has learned a lot from his own mistakes and from the mistakes of his friends. He hopes that you will take his advice and make sure to always be honest when using technology. Think about a time that you had to prove that you were trustworthy. How did it make you feel knowing that others view you as honest and reliable? What steps will you take to show that you are a trustworthy digital citizen? And now, a word from our founder, Lisa Stroman. Technology is always going to be a part of our lives, but we have to remember that with this privilege comes responsibility. Digital Citizen Academy was created to help you become a responsible digital citizen by empowering, educating, and inspiring you to become a leader in the technology space. We want you to be safe online, and we also want you to have a voice in what happens with your digital footprint. Thank you for being a good digital citizen, and welcome to the DCA team.